Today we're gonna talk about birds. Not those birds. <laughs> These birds. So in my area there are tons of forests and therefore there's lots of birds. In the summer it just becomes like a bird sanctuary here. It's so beautiful. The bird song just fill the air and it's so wonderful. Like by about three or four in the morning they're just chirp and chirp 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 chirp. It's crazy. The coolest thing about where I live is that right across the street there are bald eagles nesting in a pine tree and so we have the pleasure of going over there for walks and watching them and it's just incredible and one day there were six bald eagles flying in the sky and Aaron and I were like what the heck is going on I thought there were only two of them so we booked it back home grabbed our cameras and ran across the street to film them and I'm so glad we did because the footage came out so beautiful and i did what you're not supposed to do which is film directly into the sun but i don't even care the footage came out so good i think it was worth it Last year, I recorded footage of a robin building a nest on our neighbor's porch light. It was so cute watching Bean Dip react to that. I have some bonus footage of her reacting to that moment that I didn't share with you last year, so stay tuned for that. And this year, we got really lucky and it chose our light. It started building a nest, but I think I ruined it because I got so excited. I ran for my camera and when I came back, I think I freaked it out. I think I scared it away. So it started building a nest and then it never came back. So I think I ruined it. Um, shortly after that happened, we actually started having sparrows come to our balcony side of our apartment and start building a nest somewhere really close by because it kept coming back to my uh, hanging basket and taking coco coir, which is uh, just coconut fibers from my hanging basket liner. He even had a mockingbird come and take some too. He's like, oh, I'll join the party. This is where you get nest material. Hell yeah, sign me up. <laughs> even a yellow finch, believe it or not. But like it's like a split second. That thing is hard to film because it's very rare that it comes to my deck and when it does like it's gone in a second so like those things are so finicky it was i got like a split second of footage so <laughs> enjoy it <laughs> now this has been a strange summer we we saw a couple of things that aren't that we don't usually see here like um we saw two turtles and we saw a snake the turtles are going wild this year like I didn't even know there were turtles where I am. Like, you never see them. And then this year, I see one laying eggs, and and then another time, we see a turtle going full force towards the street. Like, yeah, these cars are totally gonna stop for me no matter what, I'm trudging through. <laughs> like, he was like, honey badger don't care. Like, he was just, oh my God. It was really funny. I hope he's all right. I, I'm sure people stopped. <laughs> Had I had the energy that day, had I had the motivation, I would have run home, got my camera, and filmed it for you, but I just, I didn't have it in me that day. The snake, I did catch on camera, and Aaron <laughs> tried to grab it. <laughs> Wanna take my by the tail? He's like, no thanks. It's okay, buddy. Love you. <laughs> The reason why we might not see snakes, honestly, is probably because of those eagles. Genuinely, that snake might have been eagle food later. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually gonna let uh, Bean Div do the outro for you. I have this special little treat for you. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Oh my god, that's gonna drive me nuts. I can see it. I can feel it. Dude.